Louis J. Gomez angered the people at the Fighter and the Kids subreddit, and he talked about it on his show and trashed Brendan Chop. So I'm going to play this thing give you my thoughts out it, on it. Uh, he sent out a tweet basically saying uh, to some guy, oh, you're just a loser who's on the Fighter and the Kids subreddit all day or something. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let Louis tell his side of the story and uh, give Bapa a proper bashing. Oh, shit. I guess he's saying, Brendan Swab, you're not funny. You're a beta comedian, beta comedian. That's what Twitter's far as arguing. Yeah, you're yeah. just fucking, you're there to argue. So I started arguing with people. And then people like, people know when I'm on a flight that they can start to bait me. So then yeah, I start yeah. to have a, but it's the same guys every time. So we go back and forth and we start arguing. Well, you have regulars that you argue with? Yeah, of course. Sparring yeah. partners. Of course. So but yeah, so this is all turned into, this whole thing has now spawned into the homeless cats, the fighter and the kids subreddit, they're fucking furious at me. One of the guys that trolled me um, had Luke Thomas as his profile picture. Nice. Right? And Luke Thomas is an MMA Who's journalist. That? He's an okay. MMA journalist. Yeah. And the guy said something to me at one point. He was like, he was like, dude, you're fucking like Brendan Shaw. And when somebody says that to me, I'm like, you're just fuck. you're just showing your ass. It reminds me of back in the day when somebody'd be like, you're fucking Opie. You're like, dude, like, how are you not more embarrassed if that is like your that's frame of reference. That's your thing. Like, that's you. You have a a picture of Luke Thomas as your profile What's picture. Luke Thomas? Because he had a beef with Brendan Schaub. So they called okay. him the, the, the fucking the CEO of BF Chang's or, you know, the top chief homeless. Yeah, but hold on. You know who Luke Thomas is. Oh, shit means you're a beta. You're a beta comedian fan if you know who he is. I don't even know who that guy is. Cat or whatever else it is. So I was like, and so I made the point. I was like, dude, you're a fucking loser. You're using another man's profile <laughs> picture as your thing. I was like, just because your entire life is the fighter and the kid subreddit, right? So I tweet that at him. Oh, they shit. picked up on it now and they're fucking not happy. They think uh -oh. that I'm attacking them. I'm not attacking. Let me make something very clear because they're going to see this. So this yeah. will be up in an hour, ready? <laughs> I'm not, I don't care about you at all. I, I love the fight. I, I, I lurk the fighter and the kid subreddit. I think it's kind of funny. However, if your entire identity is that subreddit, you're a fucking loser and you should actually eat a bullet. Oh, that is crazy. If you are shit. making your profile picture other men because they made fun of Brendan Schaub, you are a fu like as yeah. bottom of the fucking barrel as it gets. That is way more of a fucking loser than Brendan Schaub, right? No comedians think Brendan Schaub's funny. <laughs> it's boring to say that at this point. Why do we need to fucking say like that? You as a if you got a picture of Wu Thomas, that means you're scraping bottom of the barrel. You're an even bigger loser than Brendan Swab. What Wu's is saying, oh shit. That's the thing, like I, I not I can't be I can't just hate on a fucking comedian because there's a subreddit that hates him so fucking much and if you don't trash this guy, now they fucking hate you too. That is fucking whack. That's as whack as it comes. And I think they got the, the Legion of Skanks separated banned. Oh, no. It was banned. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I'm on Reddit. Uh, I have the app, and I will post as well. Um, I post on all the subreddits. That's no, I, I post under Puerto Rican Rattles or PR Rattlesnake or the PR Rattlesnake or, or whatever else it is. Um, yeah, and I think I think trolling is funny. The, the, the guy that was trolling me, we're like literally going back and forth now being like, yeah, dude, that was pretty funny yesterday, right? And, but yeah, so now the, the, the homeless cats are mad at me. So now I have to spend today taking shots at Brendan Schaub in order to get them back on my side. So guys, at any point, please just Elliot. fucking throw them out there. Right? Are you going to fight him at Skankfest? I'll beat his fit ass. <laughs> I'll punch that rapist Chris Cilia right in his fucking face. Kellen, you want to go, bitch? Toe Rogan? Punch I don't think yeah, these people will ever like Brennan Shaw. I don't, Brennan. Yeah, Kyle's not even giving his opinion. Yeah. He's being a beta live streamer, beta live streamer, making this video and just letting Lewis go. Shaw could, I think he literally saved the child's life, and they were like, fuck you, dude. You should have let that child die. Hell yeah. I think that's a story that happened, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Wasn't, there a, thing, know, wasn't there a thing where you like fucking stopped on the side of the road and like there was a car on fire? No, and you got out and like helped, and people were like, "Dude, what a piece of shit!" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the lore, but doggy, I swear to God, <laughs> doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, Shannon, do you, am, I, am I missing something from this? You're correct. He saved the lives of four children who had been in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, baby, dude, dude, they hated him. Oh, yeah. There's month? nothing this guy could do. There's no going back. He needs to. In all fairness, the driver of the car did feel 
deer off the road because they were watching Gringo Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> so I call that one a wash. What do we, how, do I get the how do I get the fight on the kids? You want to be the agency in a month and cost? I don't think so. So I'll write it back on my side. Do we review Gringo Poppy in its entirety? Do I have to smack Brendan Shaw when I see him? What do I do? Bring Brian Callen to justice. I'm the only one who fucking posts on the goddamn subreddit. <laughs> no, no you. No <laughs> you. They will be back. Wait no you. See my special. Okay, so um, first of all, let's clear up the whole saving kids thing. Brendan Shaw. First of all, crash with many other people. <laughs> He may have handed a child or two. First of all. He's definitely gay. Guess why he fucks Dez? Because who cares? If you're a gay man, you just be like, Dez, whatever. Dez is cool. First of all. First of all. And then he got out of there. Nobody cares about that. Just how many times he's lied about this story and bigged himself up in it. Um, Luke Thomas is not the CEO. That is Brian Campbell, who is the CEO of oh, the Fighter and the Kids okay. subreddit. But uh, yeah, Lewis, I don't think is that in depth on it. But yeah, he caught the ire of the homeless cats with uh, that tweet yesterday. And uh, no, you. Um, yeah, I say it's pretty funny and everything, but. It's, he, they gave Delia a little trashing there. You know, it's funny that he continues going live from a closet, right? I think that's funny. Well, Eric Callen, he said Toe Rogan going after Joe. No because you. on that subreddit yesterday no when you. that tweet first came out, <laughs> they were all just like, oh man, Louis J. Gomez is just the sellout. He just acts like he's uh likes the fighter and the kids subreddit but he'll be friends with shab anytime and like he'll do anything just to get back on rogan and he likes being with burt kreischer and stuff and i was like i, I didn't look that much into it that's why i didn't make a video about it because i saw the tweet too and i also uh liked the tweet and retweeted it i thought it was pretty funny pretty funny way to attack someone that you're battling on Twitter. It's still Twitter, right? Has he made it X yet? Oh, that sounds so stupid. If Elon Musk literally changes Twitter to X, like what is he doing? You're unique and you used to be cyan. Shut up. <laughs> Talking about somebody changing and saying how lame is, isn't unique this kind of lame? What was wrong with science? That's why you only got $240 billion, stupid. <laughs> no views. <laughs> uh, well, how, how are you sending a tweet? You're sending an X? How do you retweet? You're X tweeting? I don't know. It oh, makes no one. sense. And now why am I talking about Twitter? I have no it's idea. A clever joke. It's still a tweet. Hello, douche. Just when you send it, it will say X. As you send it, I've tweeted. Yeah. 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 I don't know what's happening. But, Louis J. Gomez, <laughs> like I said, that should be good enough, though, to get him back in the good grace. Yes? What if you send an X to your X? <laughs> <laughs> of the homeless cat or the fighter and the kids subreddit. Now, they, they hate everybody, though. They, they hate me. They hate Jesse on fire. I get why they hate Jesse on fire, but yeah, th those dudes are like never happy. But I mean, Brendan Schaub just keeps providing the content, though, on a daily basis just to trash him. And maybe that's the thing Lewis is missing. Like, he's like, oh, I can't believe those dudes are over there all day, every day. And it's like, this dude says something stupid or there's some new scam or he's getting caught cheating or there's a fallout with Mark Hart. There is something new down there every day with this guy. Baba takes L's. 
And it's an amazing thing to see how many L's that dude can take. So that's why those dudes are there all the time on that subreddit. But pretty funny. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. No, you. You're on this incredible. My thoughts. You're stupid. <laughs> Dez is <fine>. A little bit. <laughs> Going on, Ross. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> Him and Jim and Am are the corniest fucking ones to, <laughs> to make it out of everything. Yeah. <sighs> I'm an Asian guy. I can't follow any of that stuff just on principle that they're covering it. <laughs> <sighs> they're like a Opie and Anthony that never got together, just went their own way from the beginning. <laughs> or they just fought from the beginning. Now I'm panel cam TV. Yeah. What's up, man? What's going on? Oh, not much. What else we got? Nothing much. I mean... You should have 40 more minutes of content. <laughs> My calculations are correct. You want to watch a Metallica video? Fuck yeah. Who doesn't? All right. Props. I'm super stoned right now. <laughs> I'm not stoned, but yeah. Oh, what's but well, before we do that, let's look at the real reason why Larry David uh, had to betray George Steinbrenner. Real quick. Alrighty. All right. So, all right. Up here. That. Roll the tape. I'm doing it. First. You don't have no cool backgrounds yet? Yeah, to do the show mm -hmm. and flew back that day. And okay, he did it. And uh, I go into editing and I'm watching the show. And oh my God, he was so awful. <laughs> <laughs> he was so bad. It was, you couldn't. The worst, unusable material. <laughs> That's why he's better from behind. Why are we doing that voice? Yeah. Use it. It was more from behind. No homo. Voice. <laughs> you know, than actually seeing the real the real guy doing it. Right. I had to call him up and tell him he was cut. <laughs> <laughs> How did that go? He got on the phone. Yeah. I said, uh, uh, "Mr. Steinbrenner, it's Larry David calling from the Seinfeld show." Yes, yes, Larry. What is it? I said, um, <laughs> "I said I'm I'm sorry to tell you this." He said, "Come on, you can tell me. I'm a big boy. I can take it." You know. <laughs> but you slipped like back in that voice. It's yeah, like right. I slipped right back in, right. And I said, I'm see, you know, I've been cut from the show. And uh I I said it's it's not your fault, but it's just you know, the scene wasn't working and uh Yeah, and some people can't play themselves on TV, right? This is the way it is. What what else can you do? Then he does the voice and they get another actor to play him. That was it. He flew out on his private jet to do the show. Hey, now. All right. I'll get some more videos up here. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. I'm T Fat K. Hey, now. Ooh, it's quiet. So what's going on, everybody? Kenny's setting up the old cassette tapes for us. Who has a question for the stream? <laughs> <laughs> this will not be a four-hour one. It might be two and a half, three. It can't all uh, be four. We have a, we have a question from uh, Jimmernam. Am I stupid? <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> he answered it himself. Okay. <laughs> that was that question. Are we playing another video or are we just chit chatting? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Hello. Metallica. Right. Hello, Thank you. Thank Downloading you. Thank you. All right. The people.
It's a lot of people. Intense. That's my joke of the day. Dad joke of the day. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. There's a lot of tents over there. A lot of homeless people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably California. That's why when I went to Port Wynn, Oregon, there, you'll see mad tents all over downtown. Everywhere. Yeah. We don't have any of that here. Maybe in Miami. Maybe some white Cuban area they might have that. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. Keep the streets clean. No shitting on it. Playing something else. There's new Phil boy. Oh. There's probably a new Bell and the Snake thing happening. Uh, this is that wall. Whoa, what is that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Little Fappy X Reacts channel. Uh, today we're reacting to a clip from Man Cow's YouTube channel, which is surprisingly small. Mm. Okay. Hi, Why guys. does your mic do that? Anyway, he had on special guest Roger Stone, who has absolutely had it with little Joe Rogan. Let's take a look. A lot of disaffected, unhappy Democrats and independents who liked Robert Kennedy. I find him turd, very turd. Interesting. Very, quite brilliant, really. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. I guess that's the real Roger Stone. Yeah. All right, it continues. Never in any of the interviews, Tucker Carlson, uh, little Joe Rogan. I've had it up to here with Joe Rogan, by the way. <laughs> uh, I mean, the man is fairly talentless. He's being paid millions of dollars, but he's not that interesting. It <laughs> I called my Ooh. Oh, my God. So he has to sit on a booster seat to do the podcast. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Wolf Fabi X voice. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> he said he Nick Miller short. Jeez. Sounds like Darius. <laughs> Listen, every <laughs> character of One Piece has fought with each other amongst themselves. That's part of being on <laughs> a pirate crew. You're not always going to like the people, Arr. but you're all in the ship together. Arr. If it sinks, Arr. we all fucking die. Okay? And I don't know why you guys aren't getting this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know there might be a new bell in the snake video. Let me see. I'm on not on that way. ship. I'm on. I'm on my own kayak, like behind <laughs> it. Somewhere in here. I'm riding the wave. Oh, here we are. Can't be on a pirate ship with jings. What if like another pirate ship saw us and he's just standing there? Yeah, the pirate's like, out. beta, beta ship, beta ship. Yeah. Where is Rex? Among Arg, us? that guy's showing his asshole and crying. Arg. <laughs> Arg. He's got a satin white with apologies jacket. Arg. Arg. Where's the RDA jacket? Arg. Arg. I'm his RDA blanket. Here we are. <laughs> if you'd have stopped for that second stanza, you'd have really had us, Brenda. Oh, but you live and learn, man. I'm learning, bro. You are learning, man, and I love that about you, dude. But Wording how to take a joke, I guess. I guess they're now singing together. Good. We got, and I'm not learning, so that's a, where we meet. Shit on me. 
<laughs> you know, those jobs videos about me. You know what I do? I promote them. <laughs> now he's a promoting snake. That's right. Because I find it funny, you know, that it's shitting on me. <laughs> <laughs> The world, world is a vampire. vampire. <laughs> 2012, nigga. Got 10 views. <laughs> there might be another Metallica video in here somewhere. Oh, there's a... Oh, great. What? Can't wait. It's uh, Kirk, how Kirk Hammett approached the 72 seasons. You want to hear about this? Hell yeah. Let it rip. Hold on. <clears throat> and, and, and just improvised. But, you know, leading up to that, I had to, like, really make sure that, that my chops were together. You know, I was playing at a level that I was. He's got some really good solos on the new album. I've enjoyed it. Right. Good workout album. Yeah. Your exercise. You know, felt competent with. You know, I had a vision of, of what scales to play, what guitar licks to play. I had a whole vocabulary, you know, that I was going to bring to to this album of licks. You know, and I repeat myself quite a bit, but that's intentional because I wanted there to be a vocabulary. And this is like, you know, the, this is my vocabulary. You know, a lot of good riffs. I'm enjoying Have you heard a new album? I have not. It's pretty good. You might enjoy it. I haven't heard anything new in a while. Well, check it out, man. It is new. I might. Calvary do a whole review of every song. And I needed to get it all out. And, you know, I, I got it out in, in, in one of the few ways I know to, uh, I, I know to get it out. And that's just by fucking playing guitar. And I just went in there. All right, cool. What else is shaking, Ross? Not much. I got a new call-in number. If anyone wants to call in, the fifth <laughs> caller gets uh, Kenny's come in a thimble. No, you. Why would I do that? <laughs> All right. The third caller gets Kenny's shit in a bucket. <laughs> you want to look at a red bar tape? Yes, I do. Okay. All right, set that up. Not that long. Though. My David Keys. A round bloom flowers twenty pack. Ooh, the 20 pack come <laughs> like he blew out his whole system there the 20 pack oh shit one day i hope that's a gun going off in his mouth <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> mike roy booze brains out let's go to the videotape that's right come near me okay you'll get bloomed this is what's going to happen. I shouldn't light it, should I? What is it going to do? Boom! So, don't yeah. throw it over here to me if it starts going bad. So. I don't think we should do that in here. But yeah, Sam comes near me. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch yourself. Very easy. Yeah. Is he talking about Sam Hyde? Of course. Yeah. Sam Hyde comes Sam near Hyde. me. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't M80s near his car? (laughs) 
you to do. I can keep this in my pocket. In fact, I will. I got sparklers. I got all sorts of stuff Mike from the Target. A suicide vest made of those at all, all times. All this shit. I've got it all strapped <laughs> and we'll go here. Down. We have yeah, nothing yeah, yeah, to yeah. live for. Snakes. <laughs> Instead of landmines, I got snakes everywhere. And guys. Snakes named Balan? No. Jules is just mad I called her a Jew. Oh, shit. It could be. It's all peeved about that. Stuff. Well, you know what, Jules? Don't pretend you're Mike David in his DMs, bitch. Oh, that? shit. That? Boss is calling you out, bitch. He's laying on their back with a grill lighter, prepared to light oh, him yeah. if you come anywhere near my steps again. <laughs> so watch out. I also got these. Ground Bloom Flowers. 20 pack. Ooh. Fucking douche. <laughs> what else is going to have a whole device in front of you just for that? Just to press a button. So cool. What else is going on? You know what I say, Jules? This is this is my message to Jules, because I know she probably yeah. listens to you, at least on the replay. This yeah. is what I got to say, bitch. What's it going to be, nigga? You got my address. Oh, you know shit. Pull it. up. You got my address. Pull up, bitch. You got Ross's address. Pull, up pull up. not? Are you going to pull up or are you not, pussy? Yeah, bitch. Pull up, Jew. Oh, we got that quo in the house. I went on. Is he so really? Oh, claim, yeah. So many claiming to well, be. Well, you better quo. check. Don't get porn bombed. Oh, you better get on camera for a minute, that quo. I can't believe that. Hey, you pay for streamyards. Why don't you have the fucking? Oh, they got on camera with shit. their face for a second. How do I know you're not going to go cock and ball, cock and ball, <laughs> cock and ball? How do I know that? What does the three dots say? Let's see. Oh, it says John Golf. Oh. Am I being That's John Golf? Let him up. All right. Let him up, Jay. Hey, guys. Hey, Naklu. I thought you quit. Hey, I'm Corinne Frog. Who are you? Who are you? What are we doing here tonight? I'm just enjoying this show. That's just stupid <laughs> John Golf. He's just mad that you want to suck his dick. <laughs> you sound high on pizza. <laughs> no, you. Uh, Steph said that she was sending me news and not you. I <laughs> 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 got $500. <laughs> His neck is a little Mickey Mouse ish. <laughs> no, you, no, you. What do you think of Mike David neck, no, no, no. He exposed, he exposed that peop, you were sending around a dick pic that wasn't even yours back in the day. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's like a goofy Mickey Mouse snack clue. Uh, Ross, is there any chance I could see yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> For no, you. Time. I gotta go $500. Nope. You save that for 200 memberships at some lady's YouTube channel. Buy yourself some friends. Mm. Buy some heels. It's, it's not buying them the problem. It's keeping them. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't really buy them. He just... Rents them. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, if you get the milk free. 
You want to hear Quentin Tarantino's meeting, how he met Mark Scorsese? No, oh, for sure. Why not? Okay. Third caller gets five hundred dollars from Necklo. Oh shit! By you, Mike David. <laughs> How come you ain't got no graphics yet, Kenny? I put the thing up. It's a blank screen. Vegas, and it just turned out that uh, during that time. Scorsese was doing Casino, and I'd never really met Martin Scorsese before, and so I got an invite to go visit uh, the set mm -hmm. of Casino. Yeah, this is my yeah, this like right up there with you know the Gates of Oz. Oh shit, FSU. Wizard. So I'm the walking walls. the wizard. Yeah, I'm going down the the Yellowbrook Road. Yeah, son, it's all wet over there. Yeah. Where is he at? Why is he has an FSU hat in the back? Is he on a sports know. show? Maybe. I don't know. He's telling the story. I'm walking on the set. They kind of see me. And then Don Rickles goes, Quentin, thank God you're here. This guy doesn't know what he's doing at all. Thank <laughs> God a real director has finally showed up. This cat is out of it. Please say this is a disaster. It's a disaster. Please save us from this wreckage. You are a talented man. We need your talent. Oh, my God. Okay, now, Marty's left. I think they're saying Marty is a beta director, beta director. Maybe. Laughing. The yeah. crew is laughing. Yeah. De Niro's laughing. I want to hide under the carpet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so <laughs> funny. Ah, oh. I was acting in a movie in Vegas. All right. Really? Yeah, he's on some kind of show. Thing. What? Uh, the podcast they're on. Yes, sir. Yeah, like uh, Tom Segura and Bert Kreischer podcast. Right. Let me see what else I got left. Word. Yeah. Bert Kreischer's from Florida. Oh, I see. I would have been able to figure it out if it wasn't a short, it's so short, and the screen is so short. Putting it together, though. Burke Kreischer ain't no real seminal, though. He's fucking made his career off a made-up story about some fucking Russian bullshit he never did. Yeah, I've, I've heard about that, too, in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, that's how he got on everyone's show. They'd be like, hey, man, tell us the Russian story. And it's just like, <laughs> it's just like a fucking 30 minute bit. But he just such a captivating story. And he he played it off for years like it was real. <laughs> All right, you guys hold the court. Hold the fort down. I'll be right back. I'm going to go smoke. No, I'm going to oh, yeah. hold the fort down. I'm going to go smoke. Okay. Take a shit. Why be full screen? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go smoke. I need to take hey, a shit. I tell you that. Stream yards, just email NACLO uh, thing so he can be on your StreamYard team. Then he can let people up. You mean John Golf? No, you. No. Nobody's out back there, anyways. That's just They're the back. name Nackle uses to get on. All right. Whatever. <laughs> it's me, Nackle. I got an AI of John Golf's voice right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And that code is a sound like that. It's like this. Nobody's waiting backstage, anyways. No. I am going outside, but you can go outside too if you want. I don't care. Okay. Or John Golf can talk, or you can play a video. You can do all kinds of things. What you can't do is call in right now because I'm going outside. Screw you guys. I'm going outside. Put the phone on. Do not disturb. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> there you go. So unless I'm talking, no one's talking. Let's see how it's going. Huh. No, you. Is now. Joe Johnson, you're saying that I should get YouTube premium? You want to pay for my YouTube premium? It's like 20 bucks a month. No, you. No, you. Hey, Ken, I was watching that uh, CJ Brown interview you had. Yeah. That was pretty interesting. No one. I feel like I know him. Yeah. So I wrote in the chat, do you ever come to Canada? And uh -huh. I it, it was like a video and not live. Yeah. I felt stupid. <laughs> it was premiere. Oh, does that mean it was live? No, it was live, but wasn't. Oh, okay. Premier live, but the interview wasn't live. E yeah, that's that's what I gathered. Uh. Yeah, 42 more days till the NFL season starts. Yeah. Yeah, CJ said he was a Giants fan, but I'm big on the real football club in New York City. Well, you know, I get to meet, uh, I want to bet, so I get to meet Brendan Jacobs. Brendan Jacobs? Yeah. He's a receiver? Yeah, uh, ex-player with Eli Manning. Oh, all right. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, so it says the Jets play the Giants in the season it's that weekend. Not going to the game. I get an arranged dinner. Oh, that's Boss. Errol will be there, so everybody in the organization pretty much will be there. Oh, that's even better. Maybe I'll get to interview him live one night. Let's see if he wants to do it. Sounds pretty cool. That's the worst that can happen. Possible. <laughs> he slaps you with a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> Nothing that's going to happen. <laughs> He's got two. Yeah. It's better than one. Yes. Kenny, do you ever do live comedy? I try and bring it to the. You mean my stand up? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Have you? No, no. I'm. I'm only funny for small, small parts of time. Not, not enough to be. Well, I mean, I could be on stage, but. Uh, I don't know how good it would be. Like, I, 
have no material. I would I would just want to go up there and see if I can make fun of the people in the audience. So you're saying that we're done standing by. What else is happening? No, you. No, you. That's about it on my part. Yes, this is. Uh, Jonah the Hill talking about Martin Scorsese mind trips. Let's go to the video. Jonah the Hill talking about Martin Scorsese mind trips. $72,000 on it. I quit my job right now and I work for you. I was going to audition with Martin Scorsese and, and that was the audition scene. So I had been preparing for this scene forever. We shot the Donnie's intro scene and Scorsese is happy, which means I'm happy. And so he's like, let's move on. I'm like, okay, great. Huge relief off. Then we have to shoot the scene that's not even really scripted. It's just literally like, I quit. Hey, listen, I quit. Now the next scene should have taken an hour to shoot because it's a really small scene. I start doing it and... We do it again. We do it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. We do it again. We end up doing it like 20 times. Then his assistant comes up to me and goes, are you okay? And so I start getting really, really nervous. And he's like, kid, come here. Come sit with me. And we, we go to the monitors and we sit. After like five or seven minutes of sitting in silence with him, I just like start to naturally relax. We sit for 20 minutes and then he goes, all right, let's try one. Boom, they're doing one take. And we did it like once. And that I don't like the way Charlie Rose was looking at him. Thousand dollars on it. I quit my job right now and I work for you. I was gonna audition with Martin Scorsese. Yeah. That's that. That's when he was doing promotion for the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Yeah, the Wolf of Wall Street, I guess. Yeah. Good movie. Enjoyed it. I like the movie, but I felt like it was a movie I could only watch once. Yeah. Yeah. Some movie like, like Goodfellas. I could watch that once a year easily. Yeah, I've, I, I do watch it every year. Goodfellas, amazing. Yeah, like yeah. Heat, Casino. Again, those are two movies I could watch at least once every two years. A casino, you could watch it over and over again. The Wolf of Wall Street is like, okay, that was a dope movie, but it's like enough already, right? Yeah, after one time, it was enough. Did you see the new Flash movie? There were good things. I don't see movies that are new that often anymore. No? I've, I've been on a small kick watching like these Korean movies on Netflix. Uh-huh. Have you watched the TV show Sneaky Pete? I don't know this one. It's an Amazon original. Great movie. Great TV show, I mean. Uh, no one will give me their passport. It's about a con artist who cons his way into he owes a, a mob guy like 100000 right? Comes this way into a family that has a hundred thousand. And Brian Cranston plays the mob guy. Oh, and Malcolm in the Middle Dad? Yeah. And yeah. Breaking Bad. Yeah, he's a good actor. Yeah. I think he helped create the show and write it. And he stars in. Well, Malcolm in the Middle was very good, so I could see that. Sneaky Pete is great if you get a chance to see it. I'm a huge fan. I also saw Gotti. Did you see Gotti? Mm, I'm not big on Gotti. But the show, the movie is very well done. With John Travolta? Yeah. I might have seen it. I don't remember. That's the truth. But it's, it's very well done. I enjoyed it. My father wasn't a big fan, but you know. I checked it out. Good stuff. Yeah, it's something 
I highly recommend that. I think it was ever since he went on like that award show and he couldn't say that name properly. I was like, oh man, I don't know if I can like him anymore. I found him enjoyable. Okay, so. Hello? No, you? Who is this? No, you. Is this Nat Quo? I'm the real Nat Quo, bitch. You better get this imposter off of there. Nat Quo, is it really you? Yeah, that's me, stupid. Dumbass. Yes, stupid. Uh, it's a uh, Kermit the Frog sounding motherfucker. <laughs> I to call in and say I love Steph still, and I'll be back. I'll be back. No, you. Godspeed, Nick. Godspeed. Okay. Any more? Oh calls? shit! I'm glad I got came back just in time to answer that. Yeah, that's right. Any more? Oh, a tragedy. Oh. What else is going on, Kenny? You taking more phone calls? Any more losers want to call it? No. I might have to go hop on another stream, though, because I see someone in their chat, and it's going to make them really mad if I do. Oh, shit. Who's Sweet, live? Sweetie boy, Sweetie boy to Ross. Uh, Rep Who's Ash. Live? Rep oh, Ash. Rep Ash is awesome, bro. Rev Ash yeah, is live. How MO dare she? And FOD are in the chat. Oh, shit. You should hop on there, Kenny. And Neklo. You got a link? I thought I was there. Yeah, there's a link. Uh, It's in the chat still. If you go there, it's still there. So I should end? Oh, it's up to you. I don't really have much else to offer, but if you guys want to talk about movies. I like boobies, man. <laughs> or boobies. I like Mel Gibson, the actor. What about movie boobies? Oh, look at Ashes live? For real? Yeah. Anybody else want to call in the Ross? Yeah, the phone number up. I don't have it up now. But you had it up. No. How many people are watching? I don't think anyone's calling in. I don't know if anyone's watching. <laughs> it's two, and I'm one of them, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nat Clo. He already called in. He already. All right. I'll end he with the next one. Five he made his one call of the night. Right, I'll end with the next five minutes. Sometimes it's four hours. Sometimes it's only two hours. Depends on the show. What about one hour and 58 minutes? It's Cass. Cass is the one viewer. Yay. What's up, Cass? Yay. Kenny, why does your computer keep doing that? It's like a fucking weird boop every fucking... It's my minutes. phone. It's not my computer. Oh, it's my phone. Is it vibrating? <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. It's nothing to do with my computer. It's my phone. My phone's right next to me. That's why I couldn't figure it out. It's a phone. Like, what kind of high-tech shit you run in there? You got some boop. Beep, yeah. boop. My phone does that all the time anyways. Lucky. 
Who's blowing up your phone when I had the number? Lucky. Could have just called in. Dickheads. I don't know. <laughs> Do you turn your phone off at the beginning of streams now, Kenny? Because I remember no. for many years, your show was always interrupted at the beginning by phone calls. And that doesn't happen anymore. I, I guess that I don't turn my phone off. I guess that person doesn't call in anymore. Oh, so that's kind of sad. That's soon enough. You know you. <laughs> Tell me you. That's why you're stupid. Wonder why they don't call. They must not watch if they don't call. That's not. What would you do to them, Kenny? I didn't do anything. I know what you're talking about. I believe you. I found another stream to watch, stupid. I guess that's it. I guess so, Kenny. It's your show. It's up to you when you end. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hop on some women drama in a few minutes. Okay. I gotta spread uh, my getting, appearances around. You know. It's almost <laughs> one o'clock. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's getting late, anyways. Yeah, it was a good. It was a tight. What'd you do? Two hours. It felt like you did three or four hours. So that means that there was a lot of content. Yeah. In my All right. Opinion. Thank you, Cash, for stopping by and Bell and Snake. Right. Cash, lost you. Great talking to you, Nat Clue. And thank you, Nat Clue. Oh, yeah. The real Nat Clue. Thanks, guys. See ya. All right. All right, John. Thanks for calling in. It's Nat Clue. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Enjoy. All right, man. Thank you. Anybody else that stopped by, John Joseph and everybody else. Yeah. All right, Cass. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, uh, the replay will be up. Yeah, and I'll be probably cutting it up at some point or another. You download it onto my phone and cut up the show. Yeah. All right, two hours of content. Yeah, so. All right, thank you all for stopping by. That's right. No you.